let's consider compound uncertainty. Compound uncertainty is when each quantity and equation has its own uncertainty, and you're trying to get the overall uncertainty of um, the concept. So let's think, for example, you've got an equation of um, kinetic energy, and we've got another equation of um, velocity. In this case, you can have an uncertainty for both the mass and the velocity, and they can be different. Um, and you can have an uncertainty for the displacement and the time, and they can be different as well. But you are asked to find, find the uncertainty of the kinetic energy in this case and the velocity in this case. Here the mass is multiplied by velocity. When the two quantities are multiplied, you need to add uncertainties. In this case, you've got displacement divided by time. When two concepts are divided by each other, you also add uncertainties. So there's nothing much to remember. In both cases, you have to add the uncertainties of, in this case, mass and velocity, and in this case, displacement and time. Let me give you an example, and I'm just choosing numbers that um, kind of will help us add this up together. So, if we assume that mass has an uncertainty of 3.5%, and velocity has an uncertainty of 2.0%, and let's for now just ignore this value here, all we do is your percentage uncertainty of the kinetic energy would be 3.5 plus 2, and that gives us 5.5% as the percentage uncertainty of kinetic energy. As I said, we, at this moment in time, we are ignoring um, that square. But I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, if we think about the velocity case, um, sorry, the, uh, if we're trying to work out velocity, um, if we'd say that displacement is 10% and uh, the time is 1.5%. We would just take 10 plus 1.5 and the percentage uncertainty for the velocity is 11.5. So in both cases, you just add that to that and you add that to that. You add the uh, percentage uncertainties of both. The quantities that have powers attached to them, like the velocity, is uh, something that we need to also consider. So, if the mass is 3.5 and the velocity, as we said, is 2, really what happens when there's a power attached to something, if it is squared, that uncertainty needs to be doubled. If it is cubed, that uncertainty needs to be times 3. If it's to the power of 4, that uncertainty needs to be um, multiplied by 4. So in this case, really, the true answer would be 3.5 plus 2 multiplied by that 4. And so what we would get is 11.5%. I'll give you another example, and this is an example of Stefan Boltzmann law. So let's say that has a percentage um, uncertainty of 2%, um, that has a percentage uncertainty of 4%, and that one has a percentage uncertainty of 5%. What we would then do is say, um, the uncertainty is 2 plus, let's take that one, 5, plus 4. And because that 4 is to the power of 4, we multiply that by 4. And so we will get an answer of 16, and that's 23%. So here the percentage uncertainty is 23%.